thought I'd come out and make another video on these 630s. Got the fluids drained out of the back. Still waiting on uh, a new plug there. Over to the seat. Seat is a challenge. That's the old one. It's flipped upside down, obviously. Here's a new one. Getting these torsion springs in with all the pins and the linkages and getting them all bent and everything. I think I covered it in the previous video. I made these little adapters and they came in kind of handy. They let me get, they let me twist these two things. They were overlapping like that. So you had to twist them apart far enough that you could get these two in and put these roll pins in here to hold that thing. And then this tension on this seat, at least on the back half, is controlled by turning this threaded rod. Um, there's also a shock absorber that goes in the front. It's bolted here and then it bolts to the bottom. Um, I think the last thing I have to do Right now I've got temporarily, there's shafts that go through each of these springs and they're a welded connection on the back. This is the shaft that's coming through, that bushing there, and it's held in place with a cotter pin right now temporarily. But ultimately, those shafts are going to go through that piece of blunt, bent strap. and, and down in that skinny little hole, you're going to put two roll pins instead of these uh, cotter pins. So when that thing is on, you've got about, I don't know, an eighth of an inch, maybe a quarter inch. There's the uh, schematic from John Deere. Float ride seat is what they call this thing. And the light might be that great. So we changed all the bushings. There's a bushing kit from Steiner. There's the old torsion springs. Started out instantly enough with a uh, maybe a screwdriver and a clamp, and then before you know it, you've got piles of, well, I need one of those. I need this punch. I need that punch. Not uh, as they say, when's the fun part start? <laughs> that was... Eh, my fingers are sore. Okay, all for now.